Cześć przyjaciele, hi friends. Let's talk about beats. Yes, yes, I know. They cook for hours, they messy to work with, and they stain absolutely everything. Your hands, your cutting board, and even your shirt when you eat them. So let me first show you how to avoid the messy business with beads to make your life easier. And then I'm going to show you how to make a Polish soup called Botwinka. So first clean up the kitchen counter or the tabletop that you're going to be working on and place some old newspaper and a bowl that you're going to use for your peeled beads. Next, use some rubber gloves. I use reusable washing gloves, but I also don't mind my hands getting dirty. And use a plastic cutting board because it's just easier to wash it. Next, use a sharp peeler. Lastly, do not wear a white shirt when you're dealing with beads because they have that magical way of ending on white every time you eat them or you work with them. I'm glad we got this out of the way. So now let me show you how to make a Polish soup called Botwinka. Soup made from young beets, and I mean whole young beets. So we're gonna use the root and the stem. And this is a vegetarian soup, but you can easily make it into a vegan soup by omitting the cream and the egg. So for my recipe, you're gonna need some vegetable stock, a pound of potatoes, two sweet, a bit of ginger, a bit of garlic, a bit of dill, and the star, the young beets, remember the roots and the stems are important, and for the vegetarian version you're gonna need also a cream and an egg. Start by chopping off the stems of the beets and putting them aside, and then peel the beets, the potatoes, and the sweet potatoes. Also peel with a spoon for ginger. Clean up and then slice the beets and the potato into quite thick slices. Make sure to keep the potatoes in water until the last minute so they don't go brown. Chop the dill, chop the garlic. Lastly, chop the stems of the beets after washing them. Just make sure to keep the leaves separate from the thick stem because they're gonna cook in different times. So when you cut all the vegetables, next what you wanna do is assemble the soup and that process is super easy. First, you're gonna pour some oil and then give it some flavor by adding garlic and ginger. Next, you want to add the potatoes first, the regular potatoes, and let them sear and get brown and beautiful. After they've got some color, you're going to add the sweet potatoes. Next, you're going to add beets. And the vegetable stock. Add a bit of salt and pepper. Cover it and keep it cooking for five minutes. So while this is cooking, I'm gonna just tell you a quick story. So when I was young, I thought that botwinka is actually made from pork because in Polish, boczek is bacon. So in my mind, I took first two letters from boczek, bio, and then pig or small pig is Schwinka. So I took the beginning of Boczek, the end of Schwinka, I put it together and I thought for some reason that is Botwinka. But this is nothing further from the truth. So the soup has been cooking right now for about five to six minutes on high. I'm gonna just check the potatoes. They are soft, so now it's time to add the stems. So first you start with the thick stems and leave the leaves of the beets aside and cook that for a few minutes and then add the leaves 
so there will be a lot of leaves but don't worry we're gonna decrease in its amount while cooking so they're all gonna fit let the soup cook for another five six minutes check it after five minutes taste it add some salt and chopped dill Cover it, take it off the heat, and let it cool down. So this soup is perfect the way it is, and I'm gonna leave it that way. But if you wanna add some fattiness to it and change a bit the color, you can add half a cup of heavy cream, and then serve it with an egg. And there it is, Botvinka, the Polish soup from Young Beats. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you for being with me today. If you did like the recipe, please give me a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye.